Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Volibear. The Thunder's Roar. Volibear is a melee tank and fighter, adept at disrupting enemy movements while dealing tons of damage to single and multiple targets alike. Volibear's passive is Chosen of the Storm. When Volibear gets dangerously low on health, he rapidly heals a percentage of his maximum health over a few seconds. Triggering this ability has a fairly long cooldown. Rolling Thunder empowers Volibear for a few seconds. While in this state, he runs faster when chasing an enemy champion, and his next basic attack will deal bonus damage and fling the target toward Volibear. I take Rolling Thunder at level 3 and max it by level 13. Frenzy passively grants Volibear a stacking attack speed buff with every basic attack he makes. Upon reaching max stacks, Volibear may activate Frenzy to damage a single enemy target based on Volibear's bonus health. This ability deals bonus damage against injured targets. I take Frenzy at level 1 and max it immediately. Majestic Roar damages and slows all nearby enemies for a few seconds. Minions and monsters hit by Majestic Roar are also feared, running around aimlessly. I take Majestic Roar at level 2 and max it last. Volibear's ultimate is Thunderclaws. When activated, Volibear's basic attacks trigger a chain lightning effect that damages multiple nearby enemies with each swing. Thunderclaws remains active for a moderate duration on Volibear before cooling down. I play Volibear as a jungler. As such, his ganking is exceptionally strong. I head top to gank the enemy Volibear. I activate Rolling Thunder in position such that it will place him right in front of Singed for Mega Adhesive and Fling, keeping him off the turret. Eventually, Volibear does get away with Ghost, so we back off not wanting to tank turret shots. However, when he goes back in for Singed, I dive in with Rolling Thunder and hit Frenzy for the kill. I head to gank bottom lane and run across Taric. Though I come in from the river, I duck below him to make sure it sends him away from his turret instead of closer to home. Additionally, I bait my summoner heal, keeping Taric in the fight before he realizes I'm too healthy for him. I catch him with Frenzy to pick up the kill. Chosen of the Storm, Volibear's passive, is bound to catch opponents off guard in duels. Here I run across Shivana at top lane. I jump in with Rolling Thunder and Thunderclaws and get to work on her health bar. I constantly move between attacks to stick onto her, also using Majestic Roar on cooldown for damage output. Thunderclaws has the added benefit of clearing out minions during the fight, causing my minion wave to damage her while her minions turn into free gold. Once this happens, I send her back into the minion wave with Rolling Thunder, right as Chosen of the Storm triggers. Suddenly, Shivana is unable to win this fight and tries to run with her ultimate. However, I can easily chase her down with Rolling Thunder and Shirelia's Reverie, picking up the kill with Majestic Roar. Volibear is an exceptionally beefy tank with Chosen of the Storm. As a teamfight starts in mid lane, Shivana runs past me to engage on my teammates. However, the other four enemies all head directly for me. Activating Thunderclaws and Frenzy, I'm able to push away Fizz. Once that happens, my health drops low enough to trigger my passive. Now I can head back to catch up with my team. I run away as I wait for cooldowns, turning to hit Shivana with Rolling Thunder and absorbing damage until Ryze and Janna can pick up the last two kills. If your opponents choose to ignore you in a fight, Volibear deals tons of damage. A team fight breaks out in their base, and I first aim for the largest damage threat, Shivana. I charge in with Rolling Thunder and activate Majestic Roar and Thunderclaws immediately. However, I see my team is focusing Volibear, so I switch and bring him down as quickly as possible. I see Thunderclaws has brought Taric low, so I take the kill with Frenzy before finally swapping to Shivana. Almost alone, she dies pretty quickly. I then turn to Fizz, who is chased out of the fight. We get into another teamfight in mid. I try again to target Shivana first. This time, my team cooperates and we destroy her pretty quickly thanks to Majestic Roar and Thunderclaws. Once she falls, I head over to Taric and take him down as well, as he's also an important target but not yet tanky. As the enemy team is mostly ignoring me, I keep playing the damage roll, heading for LeBlanc next. Once I force her to run away, I activate Rolling Thunder to chase her down, killing her with Frenzy. On Dominion, Volibear works very well fighting on the top of the map. After hitting the Speed Shrine, I dive in on Fizz and Kennen with Rolling Thunder and Thunderclaws. Fizz falls quickly, and I use Thunderclaws to push down the enemy minion wave. This allows me to run into Kennen without the enemy turret attacking me until I've struck him. As he tries to take out the minion wave, I dive into him with Rolling Thunder and fool him into thinking he can fight me. Chosen of the Storm activates and I trigger Summoner Heal before taking him out with Frenzy under his turret. Volibear both captures and defends points extremely well. 
I push in on the Boneyard, taking out Maokai exceptionally quickly with Rolling Thunder in a majestic roar, and killing him with Frenzy once he gets low. I then turn my attention to Gangplank, who takes quite a lot of damage from my attacks. I activate Thunderclaws and Rolling Thunder to pick up the kill and the capture point. Once captured, I'm left to defend it. I always make an effort to bring my enemies into the friendly capture point with Rolling Thunder, and otherwise disengage, holding a 4-1 capture advantage. After grabbing a health relic, I head back in to push away Gangplank. Again, I stay away from the enemy champions until they start capturing. As a result, I've stalled for long enough that my team arrives and we pick up 3 kills as I die inside the capture point. Late game, Volibear acts as an exceptional tank and duelist. I lead in on Fizz with Rolling Thunder, keeping him distracted and slowed until Vagar can take him down. Gangplank then comes in to take down Vagar and defend his capture point. As with the earlier fight, I try to take down the enemy minions first until Gangplank pushes into me. Though my current health is quite low, Chosen of the Storm triggers, granting me immense health regeneration. Activating Thunderclaws and Frenzy, I scare Gangplank into running away, but a quick chase with Rolling Thunder and Majestic Roar take him down, leaving the capture point open. For runes, I take attack speed marks, health per level seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and attack speed quintessences. The attack speed gives me great damage output through Thunderclaws, and stacks the passive on Frenzy, while my bonus health feeds the active portion on Frenzy. My masteries are 0-21-9, reaching increased neutral buff duration in utility, and bonus health gain plus bonus cooldown reduction in defense. In classic, I take smite and heal for summoner spells, conveniently mastering both in the defense tree. In Dominion, I replace Smite with Exhaust, but don't change my masteries. In Classic, I open with a Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potions. Once I can afford them, I build Boots of Speed and a Philosopher's Stone. From here, I aim for Resists, Bonus Health, and Cooldown Reduction, with Ages of the Legion, Spirit Visage, and Shirelia's Reverie. By the end of the game, I want to complete Riley's Crystal Scepter and Sunfire Cape or Banshee's Veil, based on my needs. On Dominion, I have very similar end goals. I open with Prospector's Ring and Boots of Speed, and try to grab similar mid-game items through Shirelia's Reverie and Spirit Visage. I continue to pick up further durability and damage through Riley's Crystal Scepter, Sunfire Cape, and Odin's Veil. Thanks for tuning in to the Volibear Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.